Guys, West Tech Gamer here. Today I'm going to do a video on how you can remote play off your iMac, MacBook, or your Windows PC, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So I'm on this website right here, okay? It's a Sony PlayStation website. I'll link it down below so it's easy for you guys. But this is what the website looks like anyway. I'll try and zoom in. Um, check your remote plays on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. So I'll click the one for download. Let's check, and that's it downloading right now. Okay, let's do the PlayStation 4 processes right now. So I'll show you what you do in your PS4 in order to get the remote play functionality on. So I'll do that right now. Right, we're back. Okay, so all you have to do is go in your settings, go into remote play settings, which should be over here somewhere. Here, remote play settings. When you're at remote play settings, make sure remote play is enabled because if it's not enabled then it won't be able to connect so that actually makes it aware to the PC that it's ready that, will, that goes with the PS Vita as well if you want to connect the PS Vita or PlayStation TV make sure you um, enable all those so that means you can connect to your PS Vita or PS TV if you wanted to know so that's how you'll do that part so that's that also while we're here you need to after you do the remote play tick the boxes for remote play you need to go into PlayStation Network Account Management, go to Activate as your PS4, your main PS4. So make sure it's activated as your main PS4, because it's not activated as your main PS4, it won't work. So let this work. So activate, make so activated. So let this activate. So that's activated as my main PS4. That's that step done. Next, what you want to do is make sure reset mode is on on your PS4. So I'll turn on reset mode right here. So next step you want to do is go after you acted as your main PS4, go to power saving settings, then go into set features available in reset mode, and make sure your internet is connected to the PS4 while it's in reset mode because it'll only work in reset mode while connected to your PC or Mac. So that's that done, that's that step done. So let's go back to the PC and let's go ahead and start PC now. Okay, this is what the app looks like, remote play app. So let's check right here. So this is start remote play. So connect your DualShock 4 controller using a USB cable, which we'll do right now. So I can get my USB cable right now, as you see right here. Here's my controller, I got my USB cable. There we go. So that's connected to USB cable and press start. So here we go. So let's see what. Okay, here we go. And once you put your PlayStation ID in, your email address, your password, and all that, so I'll be back when once I've done that. So that right there, I put my all my information in there, and it says right there, searching via internet. It may take time, a few minutes to your PS4. Man to the PS4 view internet so I say so it may take a while I'll be back once it's done there we go guys you actually don't need to have your PS4 in reset mode to do it you can have it in any mode but there you go that's how it works that's how it works right there I recommend when you're registering your PS4 I recommend you don't do it via internet I recommend you do it via the code what I mean via the code is there'll be a wee button on the side that says register and you can just register it and you go into PS4, remote play settings, add device and it will give you a weak code and put that weak code on the register bit. So there you go, that's my PS4 connected to my Mac, right there. Oh, that's how you can connect the controller. So that's my PS4 connected to my Mac right there, see right there, I'm controlling everything, doing everything <laughs> via the PS4. Uh, on my Mac, so you go as pretty sick it is, oh my god. But make sure you connect it to the USB cable, do not connect it wirelessly because if you do that, it will just automatically disconnect from your PS4 right there. So I recommend just doing that. So that's it connected to my Mac, as you see there, it's working fine, working fluid. So I might test it in a game, let's test it in a game, why not? So we're back, we're playing Tomb Raider on the Mac, we're playing Tomb Raider Definitive Edition right there. Let's hope I don't fall. I'm playing this behind the camera, so I will suck at this. So you're going to play two meter on the Mac. Look how sick that looks. It's working very fine. So make sure you have a good internet connection. I recommend you have a wired one. 
so it works better that way and works more fluid. So you got the 2 meter definitive edition playing on the Mac with my PS4 controller. See, I'm not playing it, the Mac's version of it, I'm playing the PS4 version of it. So there you go, that's pretty sick it is. And that's that. So there you go, that's remote play for your PlayStation 4. Let me know what you think down below. So basically what you do is go on that website and you just uh, download the whatever computer you have. If you have a Windows computer, download the Windows version. If you have a Mac version, download the Mac version. Okay, so that's all you have to do. And then make sure you just follow the set, the procedures are dead for the PS4. Make sure you follow all of them because that will enable the remote play for your Mac or PC. So there you go, you can play your PS4 and your Mac. How cool is that? So that's pretty much it for the video of how you can remote play your PS4 games on your Mac or PC. Let me know what you think down below and I'll catch you guys next time.